Yes. Yes. And one of the things that we all need to, to, to do before we get married, uh -huh. one of them is, who am I? Uh, who am I? Yes. Uh -huh. And you cannot only know about yourself by asking that question alone. Yeah. You need to sit and analyze yourself. Mm -hmm. Look, take stock of who you have been since childhood uh -huh. to where you are. Because you cannot get into a relationship with mm -hmm. someone if you don't know yourself. Uh -huh. So you get the, 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 the strength mm -hmm. and then sit again and ask yourself, do I have qualities in me mm -hmm. or do I have things that are that, that can impact our drawbacks, mm -hmm. things that I can call weaknesses, things yeah. that I need to work on. Mm -hmm. And there are quite many qualities in ourselves that can, can we are ashamed of saying them, yeah. we are ashamed of showing them, mm -hmm. we are ashamed of, of bringing them to the public domain. Mm -hmm. So we keep we keep them in ourselves and we suffer. Yeah. So those are the weaknesses that we have. Mm -hmm. So once you're able to do that, mm -hmm. now you'll be like, I am at a platform where I know myself. Another Saturday it is, our viewers, we are back uh, here and uh, it has been grand, it has been awesome to engage you and uh, to keep interacting uh, with you and uh, getting to learn every new day. As you understand that uh, the world is changing every minute uh, and it's so dynamic. Uh, times are changing, people are changing, environments are changing and that's why we must keep you updated, we must keep you involved, we must keep you transformed every new day. And that is why we gather here every Saturday. And today we have another amazing guest. She has been here before, uh, we have hosted her before, and she is back. Uh, she is loaded and ready uh, to give you and uh, inform you before. It is too late for our generation. And uh, I'm going to give her a chance to introduce uh, herself. She is not new in this place. And it will be a great pleasure hosting her one more time. Karibu sana. Thank you very much, Prince. Um, I'm happy to be back here. It is, it's an honor. Now, this has become a second home for me, mm. away from my office. Wow. When I come here, <laughs> it feels very good. So I, I'm, I'm, and thank you very much for inviting me. Welcome, welcome uh, very much, um, Madam uh, Jennifer and a uh, counseling uh, psychologist. If I can remember uh, last Saturday, we were doing uh, about parenting oneself. Parenting, we did, we talked about parenting oneself and there are so many things that uh, we talked about uh, parenting oneself and how um, our young people can be able to, you know, can be able to, uh, they can be responsible, they can grow to become better parents, not because you are a good parent, but because you have learned how to parent yourself. And that is, a, that was amazing. It was uh, quite informative and uh, quite transformative as well as uh, our young people are concerned. And uh, as we were talking about uh, our parenting, oneself or being able to parent ourselves uh, there is um, something that uh, we got to, to, to learn uh, through that and we are still uh, getting uh, or getting engaged in this and um, these people as people are getting to learn about themselves uh, people are getting to parent themselves we are addressing a people that are preferring to get married wanajianda uh, wanasema sasa anytime from now nataka kuwa na mtu wengine they are in college wanasema sasa nataka nimalize nipate mtu wengine wako pale mbali kidogo pale high school hapo wanajipanga panga wanasema in a few years nataka niwe na mtu and when people get married that what we meoa na kuolewa Kule vitu mingi sana uwa wanaangalia. And uh, before I talk about uh, kuangalia vitu, eh, I hear that uh, wala watu wako married, eh, wanaangalia na wanaona singles are doing better than them. <laughs> na wala wako, wako single, wanaangalia na wanaona hii, hii kitu ni mzuri. So wanasema, kuna kitenda wili hapa. These people that are getting married, eh, they feel it is going to be single. And these that are single, they feel they look at couples. Yani wanaangalia wanasema, eh, being married wana. Yani wana watu wanatepea huku, wanatoka hapa, wanaenda kule mombasani, wanaogelea, wanafanya tuvitu, unajua, you know, wanabebana. But being single, you don't, uh, okay, you admire. So, uh, and uh, today, there are so many things. So many things that um, the people that are getting married today uh, wish they knew when they were, when they were young. 
Now, those, some of these things that young people will ask themselves, amo watakuwa nasema, once you are married, unapata, mudu anasema, hii kitu ningejua tu, kama zinja olewa, ningeishugulikia. Um, are there things, according to you, that uh, people should know, uh, so that when they get married, they don't wish they knew them? Mm. Before they got married. Yes, uh, thank you. You know, uh, um, uh, when you le talk like that, I'm listening to myself and I'm, I'm getting this statement. Uh -huh. Kwa crowd, <laughs> as you say about those who are out, they uh, want to be in, and those who are in, they want to be out. It's, uh -huh. a, it's, it's like that. Why? Because there are things that they needed to know before they got there. Yes. And now uh, one of the things that we all need to, to, to know before we get married, uh -huh. one of them is, who am I? Who am I? Yes. Uh -huh. And you cannot only know about yourself by asking that question alone. Yeah. You need to sit and analyze yourself. Mm -hmm. Look, take stock of who you have been since childhood uh -huh. to where you are. Yeah. So this time I think I'm talking about uh, the people who are in their early 20s mm -hmm. and who yeah. are getting to 30. Yes. Because we always tell them, usifikishe 30. Mm -hmm. Ukifika hapo, soko mm -hmm. itakuwa tofauti. Unaharibu soko. E, utaharibu soko. Mm -hmm. So th I think those are the people we are talking to. That mm -hmm. there are things that they need. So learn yourself. Yes. So when we are learning ourselves, we start by asking yourself, who am I in this way? Mm -hmm. What are my strengths? Yes. What are those beautiful things in me? Mm -hmm. What are those things, what are those qualities in me that make me a better person? Yes. The qualities that can make me uh, be able to deal with the challenges that are there in life. Mm -hmm. When uh, at that time, you're able to, to take uh, maybe a book mm -hmm. and a pen yeah. and you write them down. The beautiful, the beautiful things about yourself, the things uh -huh. that you love about yourself, yeah. they could be qualities, they could be things that you have achieved in life to mm -hmm. where you are. Yeah. Why are we doing this? Mm -hmm. It's because we want to discover ourselves because you cannot get into a relationship with mm -hmm. someone if you don't know yourself. Uh -huh. So you get the, 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 the strength mm -hmm. and then sit again and ask yourself, do I have qualities in me mm -hmm. or do I have things that are that, that can uh, are drawbacks, mm -hmm. things that I can call weaknesses, things yeah. that I need to work on. Mm -hmm. And there are quite many qualities in ourselves that can, can be ashamed of saying them, yeah. we are ashamed of showing them, mm -hmm. we are ashamed of, of bringing them to the public domain. Mm -hmm. So we keep we keep them in ourselves and we suffer. Yeah. So those are the weaknesses that we have. Mm -hmm. So once you're able to do that, mm -hmm. now you'll be like, I am at a platform where I know myself. Mm -hmm. Then ask the other question. Now that I've known who I am, the qualities that I have, mm -hmm. do I have hobbies? Yeah. Yes. The, as you're asking yourself who I am, mm -hmm. that question will come. Do I have things that I can do for fun? Yeah. Do, I, do I have things that make me happy? Mm -hmm. Do I do them? Mm -hmm. You know, so that even when you think about these are a person that mm -hmm. you'd want to, to interact with, mm -hmm. you'd want to have a relationship with, yeah. you're like, I think I first know what I want mm -hmm. because what you want is what you, what you have. Yeah. It's 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 very simple. I mm -hmm. think in relationships, mm -hmm. I am I'm, I'm maybe I can I can get someone to maybe you're going to tell me this. Mm -hmm. I always think that the like terms mm -hmm. will always attract. <laughs> the right terms. Yes. In the yes. It's not science. What does that mean? And this means mm -hmm. that what I love doing, mm -hmm. I should get someone who love what I do. Yeah. For example, mm -hmm. at my age, I love listening to country music. Mm -hmm. So if I would get someone who can sing along mm -hmm. all the lyrics of the country music the, that I know, mm -hmm. I'll 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 get so fond of them. Yeah. I would want to be with them most of the times. Mm -hmm. And you see, at that time when we are together, if, if it, this is, this, these are spouses, mm -hmm. they are able to sing the songs. If they are able to sing the songs, they will be able to talk about it. Why? Because they have something that they were doing together that they love doing. Together that they love doing. If I love taking a nature walk, mm -hmm. by the way, if, and this other person loves it, yeah. When they see me take my 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 my, 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 rub, my canvas shoes and I want to walk, yeah. they'll be like Unemenda wapi. Mm -hmm. And then when I tell them, they'll join me. So we'll be doing so much together. Mm -hmm. And maybe even as we walk, we get to a place and start and talk about like a project that we want to do. Yeah. So can you see our like our likes are the, the, uh, the, the same. Like terms in relationships we attract. attract. Yes, they will. Oh. Yes. I we, we might you know we are two different personalities, but mm -hmm. do we have a meeting point? Yeah. And our meeting point could be our hobbies mm -hmm. and our, our, our likes. And, and, and we, we, they will build us to be a very good couple mm -hmm. because that, that is one point that, that brings, uh, cements the, 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 the relationship in a couple.
Yes, so yes. a person um, must understand themselves before they seek another person mm -hmm. to come into mm -hmm. their life. Mm -hmm. Actually, you need to understand your life before you introduce another person into your life. If you don't understand your life, then you'll always attract the wrong person in your life. Um, this person that is uh, already has understood themselves, they know their strength, they know their weaknesses, they know their hobbies, actually they know what they want in life, and uh, is getting into a, a, a relationship. Which are some of the things that they need to agree before they get married and they start wishing they knew them before they got married. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Prince. You know, you know, we, we, um, young people need to sit and ask themselves, yeah. now that I have known myself mm -hmm. and the other person that I'm looking at yeah. who could be a suitable partner, mm -hmm. and I can see that they also know themselves. Maybe we are not perfect. We can't get to 100%. Mm -hmm. They know themselves until maybe 70. Mm -hmm. They have discovered themselves as I have. Remember, I went looking for my for my qualities mm. in this person. And mm. I saw them. Yeah. So I'm like, this is a good person. So the next thing I need to do is mm. I need to learn them. Yeah. How do I learn about a person? Remember, what's from a person? Someone can act even mm. a whole year. Mm. Like men, they can act for a whole year. Nowadays, nowadays. Yes. Men can act for a whole year. Mm. Girls can act until six months. Mm. They hide their identity. Mm. So, you know, the words that I tell you as a, as, as a lady... I, I, they can, they might be constant for the next six months, and mm -hmm. you know I might make a decision in yeah. within that time. Mm -hmm. And for a man, one year. Yes. So I need to know away from the words that I get from this person, mm -hmm. the assurance that they give me. I need to know them away. Mm -hmm. How do we learn them? We learn them by interacting with their family of origin. Uh, yes, you know, family of origin is who you are today as uh, an adult. Uh, this is where everything was modeled. Remember. Uh, Ma your mother modeled a girl and the father modeled the boy yes. and the expectation of this girl mm -hmm. um, uh, in a man mm -hmm. is who the father is. Yes. The expectation of this boy in a woman is who the mother is. Mm -hmm. So what the, ma what the mother did in her house, that is what he expects to be done by the woman mm -hmm. he brings in his house. Yeah. And the same for the boy. Can you see? Mm -hmm. So now it becomes a bit hard. So, But if you interact with the family, you'll be able to do that. Mm. And how can you do it? Make sure that you often visit the home of this person you're getting interested in. You know, you start with friendship at the beginning. Mm. So when you are friends with this person, keep encouraging them. Then the other time, so that the, you, the two of you can learn. Remember, mm. because you're able to, you're reading from the same script yeah. because you have so much that is alike. Mm. Even when you tell yourself now, we need to learn about your family and my family, mm. you'll be able to tell each other, this weekend to naenda kwenu, this mm. weekend to naenda kwenu. So when you go there, observe how things are done. And imagine you start observing how 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 the, the, the home is kept mm. from the gate. Mm. The, mm. The, the fences are well tendered, or is it the place that is just um, very untidy? Uh -huh. Know that that is what this person is going to bring forth. What about when you get into the house? How is the setup? How, how, is, it, is it a clean place? Is, is it? What about the sitting room? How are things arranged? Can you see some confusion in it? Can you? Sorry. This, this, mm -hmm. this, this, there is, uh, okay. We, we are we are getting to learn. Okay, this person is getting to learn the other, mm -hmm. the other one. Eh? Yes. We have a whole new um, generation. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Whereby people have met together in college. Yes. Uh, one is from Kakamega. Mm -hmm. The other one is from Garissa. Mm -hmm. And they have met in college. Mm -hmm. Then after college, we have to do Then in the process, mm -hmm. as uh, they are working, eh? mm -hmm. then they have some interest for each other uh, comes over. Then one apendana and they want to get married. Umutu atachukwana hapa wapelekane Garissa. And they have a stand. Kangalia vile kunaka. Na umu ngini ya mpereke now, these kind of people in such kind of uh, a scenario, how should they get to know about each other? Mm -hmm. In fact, I know, I know of a couple, Mimi, wakona watoto watatu, eh? Na kuna mwenye anajua yu mungina natoka wapi, yata wazazi ya wanjawa yona, wanapijanto wazazi wanambia we are doing well, ongea na shushu, ongea na... na... Wamekaa pamoja for over 12 years now wakona watoto watatu and ya hata msichana anjui jamaa natoka wapi mm -hmm. anamwambia kati wewe ongea na mamangu ongea na babangu mambo ya ndawa hiyo sasa hiyo mm -hmm. ni bwana asifiwe mm -hmm. now how how do you think about 
this kind of generation now. Yes, I was coming to that. Yeah. Yes, as I was explaining this. So when let me first finish that. When this girl visits your, your house, mm. your mother's house, she'll learn who your mother is. Yeah. Then she will know that that is the expectation that she expects in her in your house. Mm. So at that that tap, that point and setup mm. is where we can be able to get to the, the same environment. Now you have brought in another one mm. where people are quite living quite far away. Yes. But remember. I am not from school or college mm. to come and marry you. Yeah. So maybe I'm, I have a small house. Uh -huh. And uh, where I'm living, mm -hmm. you can come. Yeah. See how I, 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 I set my, my small I house. Uh -huh. Because I will arrange things. Mm -hmm. I will do things in my house the way my mother did her things, the girl. Mm -hmm. And the boy will, will, will be like a... The way I saw my mother arrange and plan her house. Mm -hmm. and, arrange, uh, um, and plan activities of our home. That is the way I will do it. Mm. So you'll be able to learn even away from now visiting the homes. This small house that this person is living in, is it is it the kind of a person when he gets his socks out and it makes like a ball by the by the door and leaves them there, <laughs> or you find them on top of the coffee table? Uh -huh. When you go to the kitchen, you have utensils that are unwashed for three days, mm -hmm. and they are they are they are they are, they are small insects in the in the in the sink. Is this person who makes their bed? Are they organized? Mm -hmm. Because that is who they are. Mm -hmm. Remember. What you see physically yeah. translates to the organization, even in emotions yeah. and even in, the, in, the, in everything that they do. So someone who is organized will not only be organized physically. Mm -hmm. They will also be organized in their mind processes. They will also be organized even in their, 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 their finances. Mm -hmm. They'll be organized even at a place of work. So just learn from these people because mm -hmm. friends and the person can lie. But their behaviors mm -hmm. that they are spoken yeah. because if I came in here and mm -hmm. you and you found that I was very um, um, disorganized in mm -hmm. terms I was not tidy you'd have doubted is she going to offer something mm -hmm. so the, the, it's it's most of the times if you're organized in one way mm -hmm. even in all the other parts of your life you're also organized mm -hmm. so that is something else that you can do so away from going to their place go to, to I mean their home the, of origin mm -hmm. you can do it interact with them and by asking them about what, what their parents do. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because, you know, what, the, the kind of work or businesses that your parents are doing, mm -hmm. it will also uh, uh, say so much. Yes. And then and, uh, this person will be like, oh, this person is coming from a very structured, organized place. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about religion. Yeah, because even that's something I need to know. Mm -hmm. I need to know where is this person in terms of religion? Yeah. Can, we, can we line? Can we, go, can we get to a center place? Can he drop his church? I mm. drop mine. Mm. And then we start at a place. Or where do I tag myself? Yeah. Because sometimes I might tag my, 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 myself to their church, but I will not grow spiritually. I still feel no, I'm not comfortable. Mm. That is something else that we also need to know. We also need to know this person and their personality. Remember, we have personality temperaments mm. that are very different. People yeah. behave because of their te the temperament. There are people who are very outgoing. They are very extravagant. I mean, they, they have everything that is, is very social. Mm -hmm. There are others yeah. who just want to remain in their comfort cocoon. Yeah. They don't want to, to interact with the world there. So I also need to know the personality of my person before I get married. Mm -hmm. I also need to know that chores in the house don't do themselves. Mm -hmm. Clothes will not wash themselves. Utensils will not wash themselves. The house will not arrange it, itself. Mm -hmm. Someone has to do it. So we need to agree and we need to, I need to know that mm -hmm. when I get into that house, what are my tasks? Mm -hmm. What about finances? Where are we coming from? Where, who, you know, remember what I've talked about the family of origin. Mm -hmm. If my mother was given money every day by my dad in the morning, mm -hmm. when I get married, I expect that this man who is marrying me should give me money every day in the morning to go to the market. Mm, yeah. uh -huh. But you can imagine when I get there and I find that these are these things are different mm. because he never saw that happen in his mother's house. Yeah. So we start conflicting. And we know who 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 who, 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 who is who is in charge of the finances? Mm. Who is in charge of what bills? Uh, and remember that even as we we do all that we can disagree mm. because you're coming from somewhere and this person is also coming from another life. Yeah. So we need to have a center place where we need to um, maybe now build our own. We also need to know that mm -hmm. it is not easy. Mm -hmm. Because remember someone who is now in their 20s, they have a life. Yeah. 
and they have built uh, themselves to where they are okay. they they have they have um social interactions mm. as friends yeah they also have um, a, a career. Mm. They, they, there is so much that is happening in their life. So you don't expect them to come and drop theirs, mm -hmm. pick yours. Uh, I one time had a man tell, tell me in my office mm. that when he told his wife to rate him, mm. the wife rated him at 20% and uh, as a husband uh -huh. and the, and him he was like uh, me I rated her at 98 uh -huh. and you know she was he was so disappointed he told me Jennifer you know what uh, this this <laughs> woman when I asked her why she was like oh you have made me drop you made me when you got married me you made me drop my life pick yours Mm -hmm. I'm giving that example because it is important to know the reality is mm -hmm. we are not we 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 cannot drop our life and mm -hmm. live another person's life because in the midst of our marriage one person will realize that I was cheated on I <laughs> I dropped my life and lived mm -hmm. another person's life mm -hmm. and then they'll be like I need to possess my life back so things are going to be and you can imagine there'll be children there'll be property there's so many things that will have happened when they realize that so we need to know that even at the beginning can you know don't drop your life mm -hmm. and and pick someone else because you can never be someone else we are two unique uh, different people yes yes what you do um disclose um that you feel okay which are some of the things that a, a person is supposed to disclose to their friend or rather to their partner or to whoever person they are dating with so that they don't reach that point when they get married they will be saying i wish i knew i wish i disclosed this mm -hmm. you know um, when, when you talk about disclosing i am looking at i'm not dis i might not only be disclosing good things Mm -hmm. I, I need also to disclose some things that happened in my life that are negative. Mm -hmm. But where am I coming from? I'm coming from the negativity that is in my life mm -hmm. is something I'm ashamed about. And sometimes the mistakes that I made that are bringing the negativity, mm -hmm. I made them because of the developmental stage that I was in. Look at the teenagers. You know, teenagers are very, very adventurous. Mm, so yeah. as they adventure, mm -hmm. sometimes you find that uh, they, they make mistakes. For mm -hmm. example, let's narrow it to a girl feels like I want to adventure and have an interaction with a boy mm. and they have sex and then she gets expectant. Mm. So because she's in form one or two, she's like, no, I can't keep this one. And then she abortes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So now that is a, is a, is a secret mm -hmm. that is in her. And she will carry this secret until death. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you, are, you, and you can imagine when we have a, a, a sponsor or a relationship, mm -hmm. we should have no secrets. So now she, she, she should ask herself, now where am I coming from? I'm coming from the, 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 the mistake that I did in teenage. Mm -hmm. And that is just one example. Other yeah. boys, they, they puff, they, they puff bangi. Mm -hmm. And uh, they are like, no, now I'm saved. I can't talk about it. I'm even ashamed. Mm -hmm. So those dark secrets that we have, mm -hmm. we need to ask ourselves, where am I? Because I want to get married. And in, in this marriage, I don't want any secrecy. Mm -hmm. So I need first to deal with that. I need to go for counseling. Before I even get this person who is going to marry me, mm -hmm. deal with my past, mm -hmm. deal with the baggage, deal with the emotions that came with it, mm -hmm. so that once I have dealt with it, I can now make a choice whether I want to speak about it to my spouse mm -hmm. or I want to put it in the like a how mm -hmm. uh, yes. So you cannot make a choice until you have dealt with it. And one of the things that I've said. Please go for counseling. So I always tell the, the young people as they think. In fact, when you have the thought, I think now I'm ripe enough to get married. The next thing you need to do is I need awareness and know who I am. Yeah. So the, because I might not be able to do it alone, let me go and see a psychologist. They'll help me and, and they'll unravel this, 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 this person yeah. that I think I don't know, the mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. So when you go for counseling, you'll be able to deal with all that. So that after that, you make a choice. This, this, um, as you said that those are or the dark, the dark secrets and wherever. Mm -hmm. And there is a case that um, I've had before of a girl who says she has aborted six, six, wherever, six kings, mm -hmm. eh? or aborted six times. This mm -hmm. person that has aborted six times mm -hmm. and has met with a fresh guy here. Okay, that's a, a very dark secret. Eh? Yes. That's what I'm asking. What what are the limits of what we should disclose to the people that we are 
uh, in a relationship with. Mm -hmm. What are the limits? You know, sometimes we say some secrets should be buried in that 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 that, that kaburi. Uh -huh. But then again, before I even make that decision, I will go back to and I will insist on. Mm -hmm. Can I deal with the with, with the emotions that come with it? Remember, oh, this person is already guilty. Yeah. They are beaten. You know, the maisha ya mewa chapa wako chini. So they are very guilty of what they did. And uh, they are feeling like I'm being judged. And I don't want anybody to judge me from my past. Listen to what I said. Mm -hmm. they, they could, it could have happened in teenage mm -hmm. and young adulthood yeah. when they are adventuring. So they find the same there. Then let's ask ourselves, where is this girl coming from? Mm -hmm. What about the, the, the background where she was brought up? Mm -hmm. What values did she learn? Were there people who never modeled the right mm -hmm. way for her? Mm -hmm. Why was she vulnerable? Because that is another question that anybody should ask. Mm -hmm. And you see, when, when you come go for counseling, the, the counselor will be able to bring out, maybe, can we talk about it? Because I think this, this is too much. Mm -hmm. And I, I, we, we need to know why, why, why the sequence? Because now this is too, I mean, those are very, very many. So that when she deals with it, yeah. she will now be at a place that I am in peace with myself. Mm -hmm. And I think I can now choose, do I talk it out to this person or do I keep it to myself? Or what is this that I can do with the information that I have? Mm -hmm. We cannot push to people to speak about what they don't want to talk about. But we need to bring the exposure off that it is okay yeah. to go look for help mm -hmm. so that you can be able to deal with that. And once you're able to deal with the emotions of, of the issue, you can now be able to make a very concrete decision on what you want to do. Because now this, I think uh, the emotions uh, factor part of it is likely to affect the relationship of where yes. you are mm -hmm. headed. I think that mm -hmm. is uh, wise enough mm -hmm. and very mm -hmm. great. I'll just uh, get something, one more uh, from you as yes. we wind up because yes. our time is up. Eh? Yes. That, um, which are some of the most, you can give like mm -hmm. three important questions mm -hmm. that, uh, mm -hmm. you know, we should ask each other or a person mm -hmm. should mm -hmm. ask themselves mm -hmm. before they get married mm -hmm. so that they don't get into marriage and then they wish mm -hmm. they asked those questions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, 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 maybe even before we say the three questions that they need to ask themselves, there are questions that you need to ask yourself individually before you bring them on, I mean, on the table to ask the other person. Am I, the first question should be, Am I ripe enough? Am I ready? Mm -hmm. Because that is one thing that you need to know. So even as I, you go asking the other person, you will ask them, are you ripe enough? You'll have asked yourself. That you is the first. Yourself, yes, perhaps. you start with yourself. So ask yourself, am I ripe enough to face this? Mm -hmm. Because I know around even our, 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 our teenagers and young adults, they have eyes, they have seen, they have heard about relationships that are not working. So they, are, they, they should ask themselves, am I ripe enough? Can I own mm -hmm. the relationship that I'm going to make when it comes to marriage? The other question is, now, now that I'm bringing forth another person, because remember, you're bringing another person into your life. Mm -hmm. am, I, am, am, am I at a place where I can take care and own up mm -hmm. and be responsible? Yeah. Because even if you, if, if you get into a relationship and you're not responsible of self, mm -hmm. you can't be responsible of the other person. Yeah. So it is also important to ask yourself, am I responsible enough to be in this relationship? Mm -hmm. And then the third and the last question should mm -hmm. be, when there are challenges and when there are conflicts, will I still be the same constant person? Yeah. Because I, even challenges will come and go. Mm -hmm. You know, emotions yes. will come and go. Mm -hmm. But um, will I remain constant in mm -hmm. this way yeah. that I love, to, I love this person, mm -hmm. I've given them my all, mm -hmm. I have, but am I going to change because they made a mistake? Or am I, am, am I going to, to walk out because mm -hmm. I find that there are so many challenges and difficulties that are there? Mm -hmm. So, yes, those, those are three questions that you can ask. Okay. Mm -hmm. that is, I think that is, that, is, <laughs> that is all for today. And it's quite deep mm -hmm. and uh, detailed. Eh? I think I will request that you do your parting shot as you wind up. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Uh, I just want to tell the young people that, um, just as, as uh, Prince said at the beginning, that question that keeps coming, it is very natural for people to ask themselves that. The, those who are in want to be out, and those who are out want to be in. But then again, we need to know that it is doable. Marriages are working, but they are working because you work on yourself at first. Before you go and check on this other person, work on yourself first. Know yourself, know your strength, know your weaknesses, know the people who can support you, know the other opportunities that you have in life that can make you a better person. So that you bring forth a, not a complete person, a hundred percent, but at least a ninety-eight percent, 
that you come into this relationship in. Thank you. Wow, that is from Jennifer. Mm -hmm. as, as, as I address the world mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. is can every person become a, a marriage candidate? Uh -huh. Yes or no? <laughs> <laughs> you can. It, it, the answer is yes or no, depending uh, on the choice that you make. Depending on the choice. Okay, yes. that is a story for another day. <laughs> and uh, I tell you, you are getting it all from uh, Madam Jennifer, a counseling psychologist. She started by telling us today that in a relationship, like terms attract. So you need to understand or know who you are, what you are doing, what you want in life, what you desire, what you admire, your weaknesses, your strengths, so that you can be able to uh, identify or connect with the right person that you need. It has been all about a relationship today, and I tell you that there are all the things, all the questions that you need to ask yourself before you get into marriage and then you are like, ah, why did I, didn't I ask this? Why didn't I do this? Why didn't I find out about this person? And then all of our marriages are coming down. So it is doable, it is possible, it is working, marriages are working and they are beautiful. That is all from Madam Jennifer. And I tell you, it is amazing, it is nice, it is always good engaging you on matters and issues that are affecting young people. It's another wonderful Saturday, and thanks for watching. We love you. You are wonderful people. Keep it here every Saturday at 6 p.m. Dialogue at the Well is your show, your favorite show. Wema is the TV station, and we love you. You're wonderful people. God bless you so much.